Doki Doki Literature Club erodes the separation between you and the game with glitches and errors that tell you something has gone horribly wrong and it's spilling out to get you. Yeah, except as devs know, they're not really glitches. There are a whole bunch of new assets that you need to hand make and hand animate. And when a busy mom with three kids who has time to make those. That's where Governator's Chroma Glitch comes in handy. It's a simple tool that gives a glitch effect to your images in engine, saving you time on custom assets and looks really cool. Follow the link below to the GitHub page, press the green code button and download the zip. Then unzip it, take the file glitch.rpy and put it right in your project. Now you have two pseudo transforms available to you, chromatic offset and glitch. The easiest way to use these pseudo transforms is to show your image like normal, then add at chromatic offset or at glitch. Chromatic offset will separate your image's RGB channels and separate them out, giving it this eerie glow here. Glitch builds on chromatic offset. It takes your image, randomly selects chunks, and moves them to the left or right, giving it this glitched out effect. There are a few other ways to use these pseudo transforms, but my personal favorite is by setting it as part of an image definition. Above label start, add image, followed by your image name and colon. Then on the next line, tab over and add at in parentheses, the image, then a comma, and then either glitch or chromatic offset before closing out the parentheses. Now, the reason I like this effect so much is because the glitch effect is choosing the slices it's going to offset randomly. So on its own, like it looks fine, but in animation, ugh. That's when it sings. Take that image definition method, add a glitch line, and then add a line to pause the image. Then switch to the chromatic offset. Do this a few times until you have a good sequence, then finally pause for a second and add a repeat statement. And wow, that took less than a minute and it looks fantastic. Now let's kick it up. Help me. A notch. I'll take a minute in Photoshop to make Eileen look a little creepier here. And then back in the code, I'll swap out these middle images to the creepy image and make the glitches appear a little faster and let's remove the repeat. Now, the glitch happens so fast, you're a little unsure of what happened. Perfect for a horror game. So in just minutes, you've just made an amazing glitch effect that is perfect for your sci-fi or horror visual novel. Now, if you want a glitch text effect that pairs really well with these visuals, go ahead and click the video here where I go over the kinetic text tags. And if you just want to get a good refresher on how text works and the rest of RenPy, go ahead and click this playlist right over here. It'd be cool if we had like one more spooky glitch effect. It won't let me leave.